How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Wilco the Warrior Expert Melee playthrough. And guys, we are rapidly approaching the end of our adventure. Last episode, we maxed out our life, and we took on the Solar Pillar, which, as you all know, is the one I find the hardest. Uh, but we managed to beat it, which was awesome. And now we have our awesome solar weapons, uh, which will help a lot. Uh, we also finished off our Celestial Shell. Uh, which will give us a nice stat boost against the Moon Lord, which we are going to need. This episode, guys, we are fighting the last two pillars, finishing off our arena for the Moon Lord, and then tackling the beast himself and the wizards here. <laughs> oh gosh, guys, lots of fighting this episode. It's going to be full on. Let's get started. All right, guys, no mucking around today. Let's jump straight into battle. So we're going to grab oh, one heart reach. Uh, we, we're pretty good for healing potions. And uh, we pretty much just want buffs, buffs, buffs for days, people. Um, so we're going to fight the Nebula Pillar next because we need to free up our uh, potential Moon Lord Arena so we can get that started. Um, so let's see. Uh, oh, Wrath. Have I been using Wrath potions? I've just realized I have even Koi. I don't know if I've been using them. 10% oh, damage. Yeah, I don't need that. Oh, man. Crazy, crazy. All right, there we go. Now, as we all know... Our uh, nebula pillar is literally... Oh, I can't believe how close it is! Oh, man. Okay. So, Daybreak's better against single targets. Uh, probably Solar Eruption. Maybe Influx Wave is good for this. I'm not sure. Uh, it's a bit of a tough one. And I've just realized I don't have my Celestial Shell on. Uh, so, let's get that happening, too. Uh, because that's quite a bit of extra stats. So, yeah, I think... I don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, man. The ranged attacks that a lot of these nebula mobs do is just out of control. And then they, like, teleport near you and just blast you in the face. It's like, ah! Leave me alone! <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what weapon to use. Let's go a bit of solar eruption. Just to, just to get our groove on. Because I've literally just started playing Terraria today. So, you know, you got to get in the zone, guys. you got to get in the monster killing zone. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. Luckily, our beetle armor is uh, keeping us from taking critical damage. Um, you know, and if we can dodge enough, we've got a chance to get our Beetle Endurance buff back up. But we are actually getting slammed here, so let's just take a moment uh, to chill out, dodge some of those beams. Oh, man. They are unrelenting. Stop shooting me. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, my God. All right. Okay, so we're going to do a quick heal. All right, so we're just going to chuck on our... Oh, it's that thing. All right, just chucking on our Shiny Stone. It's a super way to quickly regenerate. Uh, give yourself uh, your potion a few seconds to get back up. All right, there we go. So uh, let's go with 400. That should be fine. Ah, that's usually what I do. Like, if I'm just playing in my own world, that's what I do when I'm just taking a quick break uh, during a pillar fight. So just jump back out of the, the danger zone, heal up a little bit, and then get breaks. Get straight back into the action. All right, where are they all? I'm worried, guys. I can't see them. All right, here they come. Here they come. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Ooh. So, I think it's it's 150 we need to kill, isn't it? So, I think we've killed, like, <laughs> 20 so far, maybe. 20. It's hard to tell because you have to dodge so much. I can't quite tell what I'm killing. Oh, man. Look at those damage numbers, though. We're doing some nice damage, which is very nice indeed. Oh, this is our werewolf farm. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. We're at our werewolf farm. <laughs> oh, the memories, guys. The memories. <laughs> oh... Cold Nights, Farming Werewolves, and now a Purple Death Zone. You know, it's just, it's it's full circle, guys. It's where the love's at. All right, let's swap to some Daybreak and get some action going there. All right, very good, very good. All right, bit of, bit of Solar Eruption. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 th I think I'm liking just alternating weapons. Like, like a lot of uh, the, the pillars, like, some weapons are better against different mobs. Um, so these shooty ones seem to be a bit more... Uh, yeah, you, you sort of want to really keep your distance against those ones. They are, they're very annoying, actually. Uh, they're like crawl to peds <laughs> from the solar. Oh, man. Okay, all right. We're doing all right, though. You know, after an initial rocky little start, uh, we're, sort of, we're sort of finding our feet here, people. Man, okay. I wish I could set up some of the banners, but I'm going to get absolutely slammed if I stop to put banners down. Maybe we could try and... Oh, should we try and get one near the, 
the werewolf farm. We could try that. All right, come on, let's let's be brave here. Let's be brave. Let's be brave. I can't get the werewolf. No, no. Why did I do this? Why am I going underground? <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, this just got real, people. All right, let's try again. I want to do this. I want to do it. Yes, I got the banner down. Sweet. Half damage from that mob, the suckler. Oh, so good. And now we deal double damage to sucklers. Oh man, that was so worth it. Oh, yes. Oh, can't those things shoot through blocks? Oh, -ho! have I found a safe spot? Oh, no, but those blo those attacks do. Oh man, oh man. Oh, I don't know if I should be here. This is, this is pretty dangerous. Oh, don't you bother, you little things. Oh, okay. Oh man, can't believe I got that banner down. That was epic. All right. Oh, look how quickly we take out the sucklers now. So good. All right, let's get back down here. I'm liking this little safety zone. Ow. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think we've almost got it. We've almost got it. All right. Uh, I don't have a potion ready. Oh, yes. Lots of the sucklers. Sweet. <gasps> no, what's hitting me? Oh, it's that, it's that little projectile attack. All right, let's, uh, let's retreat. Let's get some health back. The bat, the the shield is down, people. We can take this out. So let's not muck around fighting all the extra mobs. Let's just go straight for the prize here, people. Straight for the prize. Oh no, they're building up. They're building up. Oh, okay, we got it. Let's just retreat for a second. Oh, I realized what it is that makes these um, what are they called? The nebula floaters so hard. They teleport when you hit them, and then they get an instant attack off. And it's like, yeah, it makes it really difficult. Oh, I, I, I thought we were finished here. I thought we were finished, Mr. Evolution Beast, with your, your crazy attack. Oh, I'm just trying to get my, my little fragments here. Thank you very much. Oh, now it's all yucky. I'll fix it later. Oh, man. <laughs> and we got a banner up. Oh, oh, man. That was crazy. But now, we should only have... Yep, we've only got our Stardust left. And finally, we have access again to our battle station and our fishing spot. Oh, how I've missed you, safety fishing spot. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so it's almost night time now. We'll wait till morning, and then we'll get ready for the final step, guys. The last step of our adventure. All right, it is time to make preparations for our Moon Lord Arena. And I actually had to put some doors in here so I could create a second room uh, to, make, to make some room for the party girl to move in, because we did not have it still. So let's buy some of these amazing bubble blocks. Uh, which are going to be very useful for Wilco as a warrior here. Alright, so what we want to do is... I'm liking this area. Like, it's going to be nice to sort of fly around in. So we just want to put some water, maybe... Or, I guess, just so we, when we fly past these areas, uh, we can pick up the water buff. And we can do that quite simply, just with, like, a little area like that. And then put a bit of water inside. No big deal. There we go. Fill that up. I'll have to grab some more water. So when we're fighting, we can sort of move through that and pick up our water buff nice and quickly. And you'll notice it does add a lot of damage uh, to our character. So what? 235 up to 261 with the water. Uh, so definitely, definitely worth it there. Alright guys, we are prepared. It is time for the last pillar, but before we run off here, let's make a few Stardust Fragments. 
Uh, because what I want to do is actually upgrade our potions. Uh, so I always forget to do this, and it's really annoying because you can actually change your uh, greater healings into super healings. Um, which is very nice indeed, as long as you've got one of each fragment. Uh, so there we go, now we've got 28 super healing potions. Uh, so that should be very nice indeed. So let's get rid of those for now. And we are fully potioned up, ready for the last pillar. I believe it's just to the right of our base, of course it is. Um, they were nice and close this time. And uh, let's get straight into the action, guys. I should also put this back on. And the reason I don't always leave it on is... Um, you know, I like to have my boots on. <laughs> it's as uh, simple as that. So, you know, when I'm just walking around, it's nice to go fast. <laughs> um, but hey, let's uh, let's get into the action here. I'm just seeing if I need to turn my buffs on. I'm, I'm just getting a feel for it. You know, so far so good. Um, hasn't been too bad yet. Um, luckily, yeah, okay, let's throw them on. Let's throw some buffs on. Uh, the solar eruption is really good uh, for these invasions. It's hard to argue with its ability just to hit multiple enemies at once. And that pillar has been sinking because I've been doing preparation again. It's, um, <laughs> I don't know, there's always last minute things you forget. Oh, okay, let's take out this flow invader. Luckily, their projectile attack doesn't go through uh, blocks, uh, which is very nice indeed, but that did. All right, we're gonna have to retreat for a little bit. I don't wanna die and lose all my buffs, that would be sad. All right, let's just back off. Let's back off a little bit. Let's throw on the shiny stone. Whoa, oh, oh, nope, it's shooting at me. All right, can we hide here for a little bit? Oh, no, nope, no. Nope. Whoa, man. Okay, let's just get a little bit of regen. Can we make a campfire? That would be nice. Oh, man. Okay, all right, we're good. I think we're good. I might just set up a quick campfire in case we have to charge back another time. All right, let's make our way back to the action. Oh, why am I fighting a pixie for? Oh, man. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. And there's those evil cell things. Luckily, our warrior is one class that can actually take them out pretty quickly indeed. Um, let's see. I probably should... Oh, no. I won't need to bomb through. I can reach. It's all good. Oh, these flow invaders are so evil. <laughs> oh. Okay guys, the shield is down. Let's take out this crazy pillar. Oh man. Alright, oh yes, thankfully I'm not getting harassed too much. And got it. Beautiful. Alright, let's get down and uh, see if we can get some of these fragments. Oh man, okay. Yep, beautiful. Got him. And let's teleport back to base. Hello Dryad, how's it going? <laughs> Alright, let's get our generators on. Let's get some hearts happening. And it is just time to wait now for the Moon Lord.
Alright guys, it is time to fight a Moon Lord. Let's do this, people. Oh yeah! Ho <laughs> ho! Okay, bring it on. And we're gonna try out a bit of uh, so, uh, Daybreak here. I was gonna say Solar Eruption. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how it goes. In my opinion, generally the uh, Solar Eruption does more damage than the Daybreak, but I'm willing to give it a shot. We'll try it. Um, one interesting thing to note is if you try a Daybreak on a DPS meter, um, it doesn't show the damage over time from the spears, um, which is which is misleading because you would think, oh, you know, it's, it only does half the damage, uh, but it's not actually the, the case. And I should really be attacking the uh, forehead eye, not the hand straight away, um, because you win this fight by getting rid of that forehead eye. That's how you get the damage in nice and early. So let's get some nice hits going on there. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Alright, we did us about 12,000 then. That was nice. Alright, let's swap back to the Daybreak. Get some spears. Heart generators are working very nicely as always. Um, they are very handy. And haven't used a healing potion yet. Uh, oh no, I shouldn't grapple to the ceiling. I got hit by the Phantasmal Death Ray. I didn't realise it could get through a single block. Uh, I might, in the future I might make it two blocks wide, perhaps. Um, oh yeah, why aren't I riding the fish rod and get bonus damage? Bonus damage, guys! What am I doing? Alright, let's get some more hits in here. Oh yeah, look at that. Very nice indeed. And uh, just try and dodge those eyes. It's the one thing about using a smaller arena like I do. Uh, dodging the eyeballs does get tougher. And also staying on fish rod uh, makes dodging a lot more difficult. Uh, I find Fishron is quite sluggish, in my opinion. Alright, there we go. We've got the Furrowed Eye reasonably low. We are taking quite a bit of quite a bit of hurt, but uh, we'll do our best here, people. Alright. Alright, so... Yeah, I don't know if the eyes change their direction based on where you are. Like, you know how some attacks are... Uh, they will target where you previously were. Um, there we go, I'm throwing a heal on, uh, because I'm worried about dropping too low here. Okay, forehead eyes out again, let's get some hits in. Yeah, I don't know, like, I think the eyeballs are in a, they're going to attack in a certain direction as soon as, yeah, they do. Okay. Um, I was wondering if they target where you're standing, like, just as they attack, um, but that doesn't appear like it's the case. So, yeah, I guess you could learn to dodge them quite easily, if that's the case. Alright, so we've got the forehead eye pretty low, so let's actually take out uh, these hands now. Alright, so we'll use, we'll use some Daybreak, why not? Uh, thankfully, our health is getting back up. Although, I don't know why I said that, because now I'll probably get slammed by something. Alright, we're just getting all the hands nice and low, not mucking around here. Alright, and as soon as that forehead eye opens again, we're going to start the final charge, people. Final charge. Ooh, my sharpening station. <laughs> I didn't have the sharpening station buff on. Oh, silly happy. What are you doing? Alright, there we go. Forward eye is out. Alright, let's use some daybreak here. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we've got one hand out. Oh, man. Alright, throwing a potion on. And core is open, people. Core is open. I am a little bit low, so I am a bit scared. But we'll do our best here. That's all we can ask, isn't it? Alright, so just cruising through here, trying to do a bit of daybreak. It seems to be going okay. Um, moving around, just keeping that moving going on. Oh man, okay, how long off a heal? 38 seconds. Oh no. Oh, I have a feeling this fight will be over before the uh, before my buff my healing timer is up. But that's okay, we're just gonna keep moving. Oh no, the uh, the water buff is worn off. Okay, back in the water. Nice. Alright, core's going alright, core's going okay, 26,000. Uh, how long have we heal? 18 seconds. Okay. Okay. Just gotta... Oh, Ooh, man. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. How long have we heal? 10 seconds. Oh, no! No, not not like this! No! Oh, man. Oh, no! My base got in the way! Oh! Yes, okay, we gotta heal off. Yes! Oh! Guys! Did you... Oh, man. Did I drop to, like, 40 hit points or something? I don't know. It was something ridiculous. Oh, 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 can you imagine? Oh, that, oh. It's like, I was actually playing, <laughs> oh, firstly we won. 
<laughs> it's like I was playing a bit of Undertale and I was doing the Sands fight on Genocide Run. And like you get so far into it and then you die, you're like, no! <laughs> oh, but we did it, guys, we did it! Oh, yes! Feels so good. Oh man, I can't believe we almost died at the end. That would have been so sad. So very sad indeed. But our arena has served us well, as always. Alright, so... Oh, I forgot to put the moon charm on. <laughs> the moonstone. <laughs> oh well. Okay, right, it's time for treasure, guys. What do we want? We want Meow Meow. We want the ultimate sword. Ah, uh, the Star Rath's took cool too. Alright. And we got some bone swords. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Three, two, one, boom! Oh, the Terrarian! Yes! We got a yo-yo. <laughs> uh, can I use yo-yos now, guys? <laughs> Killed the Moon Lord. Yeah, Terrarian! <laughs> oh, so good. Oh, there we go. And we got Gravity Globe, which is always fun. Let's just change gravity. Uh, some of you guys were talking about doing like an upside down map for fun. That'd, that'd be kind of cool, like, you know, like a custom map. I don't know, I'm sure some people have already done it, so... Oh, well, oh, wow. Oh, it turns off as soon as you do that. Oh, well, guys, we've done it. We've beaten the Moon Lord. We got 103 Luminite Ore. I wonder how much, uh, how many bars that actually gives you. Is that, like, 20? Is it 5 a bar or 6 a bar? 4 a bar. Yeah, I knew, I, I knew that. Uh, 25, so that's nowhere near enough to make... Uh, any- I haven't got enough solar fragments anyway. Uh, how much is Pete? Okay, so you need 8 bars. Ooh, and 16. No. We'll need a few more Moon Lords to get the full set of solar. But, one Moon Lord down. And we have the Terrarian now. Plus our amazing weaponry. Oh, so good, guys. Alright, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching another episode of our Wilco the Warrior Expert Melee Playthrough. And oh man, it felt so good to fight that Moon Lord and just steal victory at the last moment there. Very fun indeed. So more and more I've been asked to continue the series after Moon Lord. I generally end the series there and show the epilogue. Uh, a few of you have been asking for like little challenge things at the end to get the end game armor, which would be solar in this case, and uh, just generally have a bit of fun, I guess a bit of a celebration at the end. So what I'm going to do is we'll do another episode of Wilco, and uh, if you'd like to see any fun little challengey stuff, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll just be continuing on to get uh, the solar set and maybe fight all the bosses at once, do something crazy like that. Um, but yeah, so it'll be a little fun, a little bit of a celebration, and I'll show the epilogue, uh, which will end Wilco's story too. Alright, thanks for today's shoutouts. We had Dark Defender who asked for a bunny, uh, which is a Terraria bunny. I'll give you a clue. Looks like this cute little critter here. Um, and Shark Channel asked for a dog. Always fun. Alright, so voting's going really well on the next series, guys. We will be starting that very soon, so make sure you get your vote in. Uh, smash that like button if you enjoyed the Moon Lord fight and this episode in general. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe, guys, you'll get our latest videos straight to your sub box. A lot of interesting stuff coming up in the world of Terraria, and I'll be covering it all for you. Alright, here's the most important part, as always, though. You will stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days, signing out. See ya! No! Oh, why did I go down? Why did I leave the box? Life was good. <laughs> I could have just killed the boss and lived like a king. Oh, guys. It's getting low. It's getting low, but it is shooting like a crazy bee. Oh, man. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, get out. Lorenzo. No, no, I don't want to talk to you. I want you to get out of a secret base! <laughs> oh, bunny! <laughs> no! <laughs>